I need the Xerox here on my desk by the morning. You look absolutely anorexic. You must share your secret. Good news. Got the Marvel people coming in at 10 instead of 4. The lighting guy can make it after lunch. What do you think of the exposed brick? It's great. I told you it would be. Uh, just one question. Why are we moving again? Ask your crazy ass. She's ruining everything. It has to get done. Sooner rather than later. What's going on with you? Just having a lousy week. I've always dreamed coming to Paris. I've taken lessons for years. This is my first trip. My husband kept promising to bring me. Siobhan, come on. You're stressing yourself out. It's not good for the baby. Sorry, it's hard not to watch. Is he going? But he said he felt he didn't have a shadow. Speak in the living room. Well, he called me a few times. He was concerned about Britain. The number you have reached is not in service now. I need your help with something. But don't ask too many questions. Trust me, the less you know, the better. Just tell me you didn't throw back a fifth or hijack your stepdaughter's bomb. <sighs> no. Hello? <coughs> Let's, let's get out of here. I don't think I can walk. Let me just get you outside and then we'll get a cab back to my place, okay? No, I have to get home. I have to get there before my dad gets back. Monica, you're drunk. You can't drive. No, it's okay. I'll just walk it off for a little while. We should just go back to my place. I think sister's watching you. I'm sorry, what'd you say? It was a joke. Like big brother. Well, have a good day at school. Hey. Hi. What would Charlie want with Gemma? It, it doesn't make sense. Well, if he didn't want something, why would he have her cell phone? Mr. C is so hot. Ew, he wears ties and is like a thousand. Ties are sexy and he's only 30. Besides, Guys, there's trash everywhere here. Let's go, huh? Bella married Edward when she was a teenager, and he's like 400. Hey. Thanks. Thank you. I'm so psyched to go green. And I appreciate the enthusiasm. Wow. Yeah, he like hates you. Charlie wanted to uh, stop by and give us an update on Malcolm. Whatever it is you think you know, you don't. I know you took Gemma. Just tell me she's okay. Who would have ever thought picking up trash should be this exhausting? Yeah, it's hard work. I just ain't help. But you've helped out enough already today. No, really, it's no bother, really. Juliet, acting this way. I it's inappropriate. I know this seems daunting, but uh, most of the auction items are already labeled. We just have to come up with peasants. I uh, heard you took the job at Martin Charles. I'm really glad that you're staying. And hey, the pizza's way better here than in Wyoming. Anyway, um, that clue that we found at Charlie's, I think it's a dead end. The Hotel Pip in Boston is closed. But there is one in Paris, so maybe Siobhan stayed there. Oh, I don't know. Am I reaching? Andrew?
I want to see Julianne. Her father took her out for breakfast this morning. So I don't even get to say goodbye to my own daughter. Hmm. What a jerk. I think it's best we avoid any more confrontations, don't you? Oh, God, you're so ghetto. I get it. Whoa, whiskey does not mix with wine. <laughs> Everything's about the subtle oakiness of the Cabernet. I think they're getting a little bit oaky. I've just been enthusiastic. I get enthusiasm. Summer camp slasher. <laughs> this is my favorite. So I've recently learned <sighs> surprises just keep coming with you, don't they? What is all this? Well, we've been putting off so many things because of the recent insanity. I thought we could at least have that movie night we talked about. Are you sure you're okay with the movie? Well, it's not exactly my cup of tea, but it beats another viewing of The Notebook. Want some candy? Yes, please. Oh, you're gonna love This isn't candy. Candy ring. <laughs> it's getting harder to find ways to impress you, so I thought I'd recycle one from your past. I have a confession to make. Siobhan! Congratulations on the big news. Leave it to you, getting two weddings out of Andrew. What's your secret? Now, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry about this whole Malcolm situation. You're gonna scare Bridget into running. Actually, you're going to scare her into running to me. And for that, I will pay you double. It just doesn't make any sense. Why would Siobhan pay someone to make me run to her, eh, only to kill herself a few days later? I don't know. But I did some digging. Cop buddy of mine, Sleepy John. Okay, thank you. It's pretty quiet around here. Is that a good thing? Wrong girl. No, I'm not Bridget. No, no. 